In Genesis 25, we see the death of Abraham. We see a record of Ishmael's descendants. We see the birth of the twins, Jacob and Esau. But there's a really intriguing story that I'd like to read to you from this chapter. Listen as I read. As the boys grew up, Esau became a skilled hunter. He was an outdoorsman, but Jacob had a quiet temperament, preferring to stay at home. Isaac loved Esau because he enjoyed eating the wild game that Esau brought at home, but Rebekah loved Jacob. One day when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau arrived home from the wilderness, exhausted and hungry. And Esau said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some of that red stew. This is how Esau got his other name, Edom, which means red. All right, Jacob replied, but trade me your rights as the firstborn son. Look, I'm dying of starvation, said Esau. What good is my birthright to me now? But Jacob said, first you must swear that your birthright is mine. So Esau swore an oath, thereby selling all his rights as the firstborn to his brother Jacob. And then Jacob gave Esau some bread and lentil stew, and Esau ate the meal, then got up, left, and he showed contempt for his rights as the firstborn. You know, I've often heard it said that what challenges most people is that they exchange what they want most for what they want in the moment. You see, in the moment, temptation comes. And like what we see in our story today for Esau, he traded what he really wanted most, the right to be the firstborn son in that culture, to be the heir of all that his father owned. See, he traded what he really wanted most for what he just wanted in the moment. And I don't know about you, but that truth seems to resonate with me and many believers as we walk with the Lord. Temptations, trials, disappointments, attitudes. Sometimes we can, if we're not careful, trade what we really want most, a walk with the Lord. The ability to respond in peace and grace and mercy in a situation. And instead of walking in the spirit, walking in the flesh. Learn this lesson from Esau. He traded all of his rights for a pot of stew that only filled for a moment. And see, today, I want you to know what you want most is a relationship with Jesus, where he's leading and guiding and directing your life. Don't trade what you want most for what you want in the moment. Pleasure for the moment. Seek the Lord in everything that you do, because truly the best life in the world is one that involves trust and obedience. And if you've been with us at Coastline, you know this phrase and you may know it well. Trust and obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. So learn from Esau. Don't trade what you want most for what you want in the moment. Stick and stay with Jesus all throughout this day.